Hi, it's Angie at The Well-Oiled Life. Thank you so much for joining my quick class called Thrive This Fall. We're going to talk about some Young Living products that I personally love to have on hand, and I want to share some with you in case you want to have some new ideas on oils and products that can help keep your family well this fall. Okay, one of the first products, and it is one of our favorites, um, are the Thieves Cough Drops. These are great at soothing your sore throat, relieving coughs, cooling your nasal passages, and of course, Young Living's products, they are... Um, they do not have harmful additives in them. These cough drops happen to be sugar-free, um, so they're a really great alternative to a traditional cough drop. Another one of Young Living's newer products is the Cool Azul Pain Relief Cream. So this is a cream that you can rub on if you have any sore muscles or sore spots, um, sprains, bruises, strains, backaches, sitting too long at your computer, whatever. This is a great product to keep on hand. Okay, this is the time of year where we're all trying to ramp up our immune systems and keep them healthy. And Ninja Red is a great product for that. And um, you can kind of power it up, if you will, with some Thieves Vitality Essential Oil. So you can take a shot of Ninja Red, put a drop of Thieves in it, and it can really help to support your immune system. Two products you may not know about. One is Inner Defense. These are capsules, and they contain... Um, oregano essential oil thieves, the thieves essential oil blend, blend and thyme, and they really help um, to create an unfriendly environment in your gut for other things to kind of sink into you, if you will. Um, they kind of help defend your insides. And um, Life Five is Young Living's probiotic, and actually this is a little outdated because um, it is now Life Nine. There are nine different strains of probiotics. And between these two products, they really help keep your insides healthy. Okay, we definitely get stocked up with our oil arsenal this time of year. And so I wanna go over some recommendations for you. Um, if you look, the essential oils that we always make sure to have on hand are Thieves Vitality. As you know, you can take that as a supplement. Sniffleese is an essential oil blend. It's part of the Kid Sense line. Um, you can rub that over your sinuses, on your throat, um, bottoms of your feet. Um, RC and Raven are two other options that are great. You can, again, rub those over your sinuses, on your chest, over your lungs. Um, we like to diffuse those at night as well. I always make sure that I don't run out of these. Um, the Breathe Again Roll-On is great because it comes in a roll-on. Um, again, we roll that over sinuses. I roll that over their neck and chest sometimes at night. And then Digize Vitality. This is a supplement oil. It contains oils like ginger and peppermint. Um, you can take it internally after meals. Um, and again, just another oil that we don't like to run out of. Supplements that are great to have on hand this time of year. Inner Defense is what we talked about in the last slide. And Life 5 or Life 9, like I told you, um, are great for internal health. Um, Super C is Young Living's Vitamin C. And then Ninja Red we have talked about. So this is kind of a little checklist. And then over the counter, we talked about Thieves Cough Drops and Cool Azul Pain Cream. So this is a really good list if you don't know where to start on products to um, help keep you well this fall season. This is a great list to start with. All right, one of my favorite things to do also this time of year because we're spending more time indoors, we don't get as much fresh air and to enjoy the outside, we love running our diffuser this time of year. So I'll have these recipes on my blog for you to pin um, and copy, but there's a ton of great diffuser combos here. And if you look, there's a lot of similarities. So if you, um, if you like to diffuse or you like to make recipes, which we'll talk about in a minute, or DIYs, some of the top oils I would say to have on hand this time of year are oils like orange, cinnamon, clove, and ginger, um, and thieves, of course. Between those oils, and obviously there's a couple others added in here that you might already have from your kit, but between those, you can make lots of fun combos to diffuse in your home. And it is a great alternative to scented candles. As we know, those can really, really release a lot of toxic chemicals into your air. Um, and so we are always diffusing around here this time of year. So like I said, these recipes will be on my blog if you want to copy them down or pin them or whatever. 
Now we're going to talk about some DIY recipes. This is a good time of year to look at these because you might um, really like to make gifts for, for Christmas or the holidays um, or just for yourself. So again, all these recipes will be on my blog, but this is a great idea, a warm vanilla room spray. You can actually take vanilla extract, combine it with some orange, cinnamon, and clove and some distilled water, put it in a metal spray bottle or a glass spray bottle, and um, shake it up, and you have a great smelling room spray. I love this idea. Pumpkin or spiced pumpkin creamer. I mean, we all love our pumpkin spiced items this time of year and you can actually make your own creamer. So again, like I mentioned before, it kind of uses some of these seasonal oils like cinnamon bark, ginger, and clove. Um, and if you um, combine those with some almond milk, pumpkin puree, and vanilla, you can make some creamer that you can store in your fridge and then when you go to use it, blend it up with your coffee and make your own pumpkin spice drink. Butternut squash soup. Um, here we basically have a butternut squash soup base, and then it also contains some clove and some cinnamon um, vitality essential oils in it just to give it that punch of flavor. You can make cinnamon rolls with our cinnamon vitality essential oil. So here's a recipe for you. Um, I know my kids love to bake this time of year, and here's a great recipe that you can try. It includes cinnamon, um, bark vitality oil, and then also some orange vitality. Okay, this time of year also, you know, our skin is a little bit stressed. The weather's changing. Um, the air gets a little bit drier, so we have to spend a little bit more time if we want to keep our skin nice and smooth and soft. And so here are some ideas for cleansers and exfoliators and things. Um, you know, Young Living does not use harsh chemicals in their products. Um, they are very concerned with safety. And so let's talk about a few of these products. The first one is their Orange Blossom Cleanser. This is a... Um, it's a gentle soap-free facial wash, and this cleanser does not strip the skin of oil, so it keeps your skin nice and soft and supple. And then the Satin Facial Scrub, again, it is gonna leave your skin really nice and soft. It contains lots of great ingredients, most notably peppermint essential oil, um, and some other um, oils and things to keep your skin hydrated. Okay, also, did you know you can combine um, oils like frankincense and ger geranium with your favorite facial moisturizers? Just add a drop or two and massage those into your skin after you wash it, um, and they make it feel really nice and soft. If you're not aware, Young Living has their Art Skincare line. So this is basically your cleanser, toner, and moisturizer. And again, these are free from harmful ingredients. They're really nourishing for your skin, and they're great to use this time of year. And then a couple more DIY recipes for you. Um, an autumn sugar scrub. This really is just taking some sugar and almond oil. This recipe here calls for citrus fresh, fresh and Christmas spirit. Combine those together and make a really nice gift. These make great teacher gifts or neighbor gifts or hairdresser gifts or whoever you need to find um, something for. And then last but not least, we have our Cocoa Mint Lip Balm Recipe. So um, peppermint feels great. I'm sure if you've used a peppermint lip balm before, you can actually make your own. Um, here's a list of ingredients. And again, add some peppermint. And this is a really great non-toxic way to make um, some really great moisturizer for your lips. So again, I'll have all these recipes on my blog. I hope this was helpful to give you some ideas for some products to try this winter, some things to keep on hand, and also some DIY recipes. Thank you so much for watching.